Each year when we fly in here, whether we come in with the Otter or in my dad's Super Cub, we come through this valley, it just takes your breath away. It's just so beautiful and that's why I look forward to coming back every year. It's just the beauty of the area, the way the light hits the mountains differently, like every day it's a new experience. My dad came up here in the late 60s and he wanted to explore the area because he heard that the fire steel was a spectacular fishery. This bush plane pilot dropped him off on the river, basically said, I'm landing here, it's the only place I'm going to land on the river, you can explore, I'll come back and pick you up. I wanted to go south of Smithers and it was within those olden days, Billy Harrison, he said no. Go north, Ray, you know, you're young, go. Like, I'm 23 years old. Anyways, I asked the pilot, Lopi was his name, drop us off at Firesteel, because Billy Harrison said that's the place to go if you're gonna go fishing. So we were dropped off there. We had a big wall tent. It was just solid bush where he dropped. I only land in this section of the river, okay. We're pretty green, and so how are we going to get around? So they explored. They had to walk the bank, down the bank, up the bank. They found rainbows everywhere. We're at the fire steel. There's a major game trail. We walked this for hours. But we didn't have no GPS or any of that crap. We, we just uh, were like geological survey guys at the turn of the century. We walked in this one uh, moose trail that led off the main trail. We come to this hole, and I'll never forget that. My brother had a dock sprockly fly, black one, they come black, green, and red, and he had a moderate sinking line and to this day we call it 126 well, what does that mean you caught a hundred and twenty six rainbows and that many casts I think we just hit them on a uh, feeding frenzy so I knew then we got to come back here then and there he knew that it was definitely a spot that he wanted to build his first cabin. The first cabin went up in 1969 and now we have over 30 different destinations that we go and fish because he ended up exploring all of these different places in an area that's essentially three times the size of Yellowstone Park. It's over two million acres that we fish. Delta at the fire still is a super fun spot to fish. It's beautiful. The river braids into a whole bunch of different little sections. So you can cross it. You fish little pocket water. There's, uh, it's like a freestone river. So there's lots of stonefly hatches down there. When we were down there, we had an awesome mayfly hatch. I saw some caddis coming off. Uh, it's just lots of fun with a three or a four weight rod, lots of fish, taking dry flies, it's an incredible spot. Yeah, it's really cool fishing with my dad because every time he gets a fish on, he's just hooting and hollering, he's super happy. If I get a fish on, he's like, way to go, Kara, that's awesome. So it's lots of fun to fish with my dad because he's so enthused and 
likes to tease me about my dry fly or get give me the special fly and I'll fish behind and be like, no, 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 you got to fish in front of me. So it's lots of fun. We have lots of fun teasing each other. Get it on your finger. Why? I always do that. Well, what we used to do is Carrie and I used to always take a day and go fishing. Take the airplane and go explore a new place. But as we got busier and time goes on, we forgot about that and we didn't do that anymore. So we went to the upper fire steel. Uh, that was uh, classic, brought back a lot of the memories that we did for years and hadn't done that. That was a special day, and I mean, when we're going to get to do that again, I don't know. It was a special moment and uh, an opportunity to go out with her, and, um, I, th and I think I have fished her still, too. I think is really unique is my dad started this business. He had a vision. He was on a shoestring budget, built this small cabin, couldn't get a client to save his life for the first two years, but he persevered. His passion for the area is, is really what we have today is because of his determination, his dedication, 
and now he's built this beautiful lodge with world-class fishing in a world-class area. And now our kids can experience this. We've got third generation here. The kids are loving it. They're experiencing it. And just to see my dad with the kids up here is really special. And I hope that our kids will want to continue to do this in 20 years. Oh, watch this. Watch this. Okay, I'm watching. I looked at it. What I really look forward to is raising my family in this beautiful, pristine area and continuing this legacy that my dad has started for another 40 years. Crap. 